टूडेज टॉपिक इज कंस्ट्रक्टर इन सिस्टम वेरी लॉग उप्स कंस्ट्रक्टर इज न्यू वॉट डज इट डू इट इट इज ऑटोमेटिकली कॉल्ड वेन यू आर क्रिएटिंग क्लास ऑब्जेक्ट इट इनिशियलाइज डिफॉल्ट वैल्यूज टू योर क्लास वेरिएबल्स नाउ टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आर डिफॉल्ट वैल्यूज ऑफ डिफरेंट डेटा टाइप्स इन सिस्टम वेरी लॉग यू कैन गो थ्रू सिस्टम वेरी लॉग ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज in that we had discussed about two state variables in two state variable one example is bit two state variable can take only two values either 0 or 1 and the default value is 0 so if you have a data type say bit in your class the default value which your constructor will assign to it is 0 now say you have a four state variable example is logic Four state variable can take four different values: zero, one, x, and z. Out of which the default value is x. So if you have logic, the default value which the constructor will initialize it to is x. You can also declare a custom constructor. What is the use of custom constructor? In your default constructor, which is there in system very log, the default values for two state is zero, for four state is x. I don't want those default values. I want some other values to be initialized to my variables whenever I am creating objects. This is one application where you can use custom constructor. Now let us see an example to understand this constructor properly. Say I have a class. It is named as packet one. It has two variables. Two not. It has three variables. There is sixteen bit address. 32 bit data and one read write bit which tells whether your transaction is read or write now i am creating a handle of this class packet one is the class handle is p1 when i am creating a handle your object is null it doesn't have any memory it doesn't have a, it, it you it doesn't have any memory allocated to it but when you are calling new the constructor new that time your object will get a memory allocated and the variables of your object which are address data read write will get default values since all of that are, is bit the default value which is initialized to your object variable is 0 0 for address 0 for data and 0 for read write let us see another example now I have a class packet two in which I have thirty-two bit header, thirty-two bit payload. Here I am declaring a custom constructor. For header, I am taking argument from the user, thirty-two bit argument, and whatever argument the user will give me, that I will assign it to the class variable. Your class variable is header. we say it as this dot header and you are assigning it the value whatever is passed in the argument for payload i don't want to take argument i want to hard code it to a certain value so it is not necessary that you you should take everything as a argument it is possible that you want to take some things as argument some things you want to hard code or you want to hard code everything you don't want to take any argument or everything you want to take argument that's on you how you want to customize your constructor as per your application now here if you see when i am calling this new function i am passing an argument which is your header major difference between this default constructor and this constructor this new which we have declared as a custom constructor is here the default values will be zero here the default values are not zero it is whatever you want like here i have said that address i want 1 2 3 4 and payload is whatever you have hard coded this is one of the major difference between your default constructor and custom constructor i hope with this constructor is clear what is default constructor in system very log what does constructor do and what is custom constructor what is difference between this new whatever is the default constructor in system very log and this new function 
which is a custom constructor which we have defined in the next lectures we will see a lot about ops in detail to stay tuned please subscribe to sweety speaks official youtube channel thank you